I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. As always, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Fallen Onto an e, and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm Fallen Onto an e. I've got a lot to say this week so I'm not really going to do too much of an intro. Um, I, got a, I bought some new things this week Disney wise. If you can find it on this screen here, just let me know. Anyway, let's get right to the news. The Blue Sky Cellar exhibit at Disney's California Adventure now has a display on the new Little Mermaid attraction, Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Walt Disney World will be getting its own version of this attraction, which will feature the same Omnimover technology used in the Haunted Mansion. Guests will enter the clammobiles from the side, and then the front closes down to form a lap bar, which is a little different than the Nemo ride. There will also be wheelchair accessible vehicles known as King Triton's Chariots. Basically, you can just wheel the wheelchair right onto it so everybody can enjoy this new ride. The new Hacienda de San Angel restaurant at the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot is now looking much more like a restaurant with a lot of exterior details and the highest point of the building, the large dome, now in place. Uh, the restaurant, which has replaced the former Cantina de San Angel, is set to open in September of this year. And finally, the Liberty Square Riverboat at the Magic Kingdom will be closing for refurbishments uh, from August 16th to August 25th. So just remember that when you're going down. So that does it for the news, so let's get right to the reviews. Okay, the first thing I'm going to review today is the Toy Story 3 video game. Uh, that's out now for the Xbox 360, PS3, the Wii, all the good systems. Um, now, I'm actually going to be doing something different today. Uh, in my circle of friends, I'm not really known as the video game guy. I mean, I play video games every now and then, you know, like anybody, but I'm not really into video games as much as all my other friends. And I have one friend whom you all know called Corn Shack who is hugely into video games and knows more about video games than I think any, anybody I know. So I got him to do a special review on Toy Story 3 the video game for you guys. So here with a video is Corn Shack. Check it out. Hey everyone, um, Corn Shack here giving my thoughts and opinions on Toy Story 3 the video game. Now I was playing on the 360, so I'm not sure how much different this version is compared to the one on the Nintendo Wii. In the game itself though, there's two different gameplays. You have the toy box mode, which they really focused on in development, and what they're really pushing with the promotions of the game. There's also the storyline missions of the game that follow the movie. Of course, you want to see the film first so you don't get anything spoiled for you, um, but if you do want to pick up the game first, you can play the toy box mode with really not having too much spoiled for you so you can get some enjoyment out of that. You'll probably get the most enjoyment out of the toy box mode anyway. The storyline missions that follow the movie um, or overall, nothing really spectacular that we haven't seen before. One of the cool thing is, in certain levels, you can actually play as Buzz, Woody, and Jesse all at the same time, switching between the different characters, having the Yuji Sutter in order to get over platforms, press buttons so other platforms appear, and helping and getting along each character individually, especially one of the last levels of the game. You really need to have this timing down, because you'll need it, and you'll have to get through very quickly switching between the different characters. The good thing is, though, you don't have a life count. While you do have a health meter, when you run out, you disappear at the, at the previous checkpoint. You don't have to worry about running out of lives and getting a game over. Usually, the checkpoints only are going to set you back 30 seconds or so of gameplay, so you're not really getting set back too far. In the game itself, though, you'll have a little bit of problem once in a while with the camera, but I've played a lot of Disney Interactive Studios games, and i got to say, overall, the control as well as the camera really weren't too much of a problem. I had a few tiny minor glitches here and there, falling through a couple platforms or things not working the way I want. The worst being not being able to latch on uh, the different platforms where it looked like I could easily grab onto the edge and pull myself up. A lot of times I'd end up missing certain platforms and end up falling and uh, end up having to go back to the checkpoint. But it really didn't hurt the gameplay too much and I, I enjoyed it for the most part. The big point of the game, though, is definitely the toy box mode. This is basically a giant sandbox for you to play with. 
you basically have a town building sim as well as mission based gameplay. Um, similar to, I would even say, the Grand Theft Auto series in a sense, of having that sandbox free to move around, pick up the missions you want to do, and complete the missions that you want to complete. There's th tons of different buildings to actually put down. You can customize the buildings completely with colors as well as decorations. There's lots of different townspeople that you can end up having in your town and aliens in your town that you can end up throwing into the houses to do different things or even customizing them, give them different hair and clothing and such. Overall though, I enjoyed the game. I played it a lot. I put a lot of hours into it. Um, most of which were definitely in the toy box mode, which will last you a good amount of time. However, if you're getting it just for the storyline mode, you're probably going to end up running it only, and you'll probably run out of gameplay rather quickly. I would definitely check out this game. If you don't want to buy it, definitely rent it at some point or pick it up when it's cheaper. This is probably one of the best movie tie-in games i played in a few years. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed Thanks, Gordon Shack. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate you doing that. Um, uh, you know, so do uh, I'm sure my fans out there. Um, I actually bought the Toy Story 3 video game um, for the Wii, and I got a chance to play it. Um, the Wii controls are uh, are a lot different than the uh, normal Xbox 360 controls. Um, you know, you're you're forced to use the Wii mode a lot to do you know different things and whatnot. But overall, it's it's you know it's pretty solid. It's a, it's really fun. You know, like Cornshack said, that toy box mode is crazy cool. Um, I really I, I really enjoyed that part more than I did the storyline. Um, but it is fun, and, and you know, if you do buy this game before you see the movie, there are spoilers. So, <clears throat> just letting you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, he didn't rate it, so I so I want to have to rate it. I'm giving Toy Story 3, the video game. Four stars. It's actually a really great movie adapted uh, game, and uh, and then the toy box mode just you know, just you know, it adds a whole new dimension, uh, you know, to movie based titles, and uh, it's the funnest part in this game. So, Toy Story 3, the video game, four stars. Okay, and the last thing uh, I want to review today, um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about, it's Toy Story 3, the movie. Um, here's my ticket stub. I went to go see it uh, at a 12 o'clock showing uh, at AMC Lowe's. I did not see the 3D version, but I heard from other people that 3D really doesn't really play a whole big part in it. Uh, but this movie did not suck. I really enjoyed this movie. So let me give, go into a brief synopsis. Um, Andy's going to college and uh, he has to do something with his toys. And through some, uh, so you know, a cup of rigmarole and hullabaloo, they uh, the toys wind up at the Sunnyside daycare. Uh, it, it's thought of as being a you know almost like a day spa for toys um, but it turns out to be not so much of a nice place uh, so the toys you know have to wind up getting back to Andy um, you know so that's what they're trying to do um, you know throughout this the whole mid section of the movie uh, you know some stuff happens they wind up in a in a dump somewhere and they have to try to get back it's it's one of the craziest parts of the movie uh, that and I'm not going to give away too much because I want you to go see this movie You really need to see this movie especially if you're a fan of the first or and or second Toy Story The first 15 minutes of the movie is very nostalgic if you remember the first Toy Story where you know Andy's playing with his toys and uh, you got one-eyed Bart as Mr. Potato Head and stuff and you like you're you're taken back you know, There's so many references being thrown back you know in your face from the original Toy Story You're like wow, it's really cool in the last 15 minutes um, well well <laughs> Made every it made me and the five people I was with tear up. You know, it was just you know it's very you know very nostalgic and you're you're kind of sad to see it go, but you're also kind of happy. They you know that it's uh you know you know you know for the toys. So it is a happy ending. Just you know go right there. Now this is one of the one of the darkest uh, is or probably is the darkest of the uh, Toy Story movies. Um, there's a lot of um there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, you know that that kids are like wow this is actually kind of almost violent. Um, but it is still G-rated. It's just you know, but it, it deals with stuff and it's um, kind of loud and whatnot. So just be careful when you bring like little little kids in there. They might get a little scared. So Toy Story 3 the movie, I'm giving four stars. I was going to give it a 4.5. That was my initial reaction out of the theater. But uh, upon further you know a reflection of it, it's just a four. It was just a fun movie. I really, I really recommend it. You all need to go see it, especially if you are a, are a fan of the Toy Story movies. And even if you're not, a lot of people who I've talked to said, you know, it was a really good movie. I, I really wasn't expecting it to be this good. 
So it was a great, it was a good way to finish off the series, and um, ho hopefully there won't be an another Toy Story because, well, you know, I'm happy where they are right now. I'm happy, you know, you know, with this ending and, and where these toys are right now. So uh, check out the movie. It's a great movie. Like you know, like I said, four stars. Toy Story three. Check it out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney news and reviews. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I, I want I want people to go out and buy, you know, you know, your awesome Disney products and go down to Disney World and enjoy your stuff. And especially, you know, Toy Story three, the video game, and Toy Story three, the movie. And, you know, go to allers.nettoyingplans.com, www.magic.com for all your latest and greatest Disney news. And I'll be back next week for my reviews. Uh, you know, my, to finish up my summer of uh, Toy Story and Summer Games uh, month. I got, I got a lot of stuff coming up in the summer. I'll talk to you about that next week or in some or in some other bonus video. So uh, just stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all next week for another Disney news and reviews. Bye, guys.